So here we are then, out on the brand new 2022 Giant Rain E Plus. So this is the Model 1, full XT, uh, Fox 38, Float X2. Really nice build package. Um, kind of all the value without going mental. Load of updates for the 2022 bike. Um, pretty much a completely redesigned package right from the ground up. So what's new? So we've got brand new geometry, we've got mega steep seat angle, slack head angle with the option of a flip chip. Flip chip allows you to adjust the geometry from 63.7 to 64.5, which as head angle, like for me around the chase from my sort of local is, that's perfect. 64.5, it's quite slack, but still perfect. And it also steepens the seat angle up to about 78 degrees, which is awesome. Even for an e-bike, that seat angle makes such a difference for climbing. A lot more centered, much, much better in terms of climbing and pedal efficiency. And it saves all those, num those magical watts. So in terms of new stuff then, unlike last year where you've got the switch on the left hand side of the bars, you've now got a new ride control switch. Just on the left here, very simple up and down button, much, much neater than the old version. Um, you can adjust all those settings, you can adjust up and down, what the middle button does, all via the app. That's quite cool, you've got a brand new button in the middle, if you can see that there. You've got battery life on the right, and then you've got your assist mode on the left hand side. Now, I have found this motor to be very, very punchy. Even in the eco or the lowest mode, you can come out of a corner, give it some beans and it just pops out and, and cracks on. Uh, which is really, really nice. It adjusts to the gears as well. So for an easy gear, it doesn't just fire out the corner, it does make it really, really nice and straightforward. Um, new stuff, brand new motor, big, big, big talking point on this bike. So it's a brand new Giant Sync Drive Pro, but based around the, well, brand new, half a year old, Yamaha PWX3 motor. 85 newton meters, so much smaller than the old unit. So things like 40 mil or 38 mil more ground clearance over the old model which is huge, I, that's, that's a load. So no more kind of catching the motor, catching your pedals. Um, and obviously that also can be adjusted, bottom bracket height can be adjusted via that magical flip chip. Um, brand new battery design on the model at five grand, five and a half and six three, this bike here, you get the 625. On the top model at seven and a half, you do get a whacking great big 750, which is cool. That's awesome that they've integrated that now. Along with that, plenty of things like range extenders available. So you can get a 250 range extender, which takes power on any model from five grand above sort of 700 watts, um, 700 watts, which is, which is brilliant. So you can do an all day ride and then just put the extender on if you need it or if you want it. And obviously it takes the, uh, the top model, the naught, to a magical thousand watt hours, which is pretty bloody cool. Other things on the new one, obviously mullet. So 27.5 rear, 29 front. Kind of the all, all the new rage on e-bikes. Um, it's so good. You get all the rollover, all the magical kind of rollover things of 29er, along with the flickiness, or the flickiness, the uh, playfulness of a 27.5 mixed with a nice short back end. Um, the frame is completely different to last year's one. Um, shorter back end, so it does feel a lot more playful. And that 29 at the front just plows over stuff. So overall, they're kind of the updates on the new model. We'll do some riding in a second, see how we get on, um, and we'll go from there. Catch you in a minute. I guess the big question is, how does it ride downhill? Let's find out. Now it's really muddy, so it probably only here bits on the camera. Brakes still need bedding in. They're working a bit. We'll do this track today. So this is like. So this is a bit peddly, it's also got some quite nice steep sort of corners in it. Get the foot out there. It feels so nimble for a big e-bike with 170mm travel. In smart assist mode currently, so kind of an automatic mode. Gives you power when you need it. Oh, get a better treat. I just want to get used to that long front end on it, but get the foot out out there. 
feels very confidence inspiring. Obviously helps it's quite long. And that big 29 at the front, boy does it drag you around corners. Ooh. A bit wild there. Nice little route in the way. Hooked up there. That's a tricky little little section. Alright, on it. So again, back up to speed. Do the new left here. Built by yours truly. Get nice and high. There we go. Oh man, people have ridden this. Oh hello. Alright, then let's try that again. Messed up a bit to be fair. Now I need to get nice and high here. Nice cheap roll. Into a nice steep section here. That's become a big drop now. God, when it gets fast. Yeah, boy. Wow. When the trail gets fast, this thing is just in a different league. It's so planted. Obviously, big heavy bike, 23 kilos. But boy, is it good. Especially when you get going down the hill. Any negatives then? Well, if I'm being picky, motor's a bit loud. But then... A positive to that is when you go into boost mode, it doesn't get any louder. So I see many e-bikes, um, Shimano, Bros and Bosch. As you go up the power and request more power, they get louder. This doesn't, but I'd probably say it's a touch loud in eco. Only a tad, I'm just being picky. But then, forgive that amount of power and sort of sustainability on the power it gives you. I'm happy with that, more than happy with that. Down another descent then, here we go. So this one's a bit steeper, much, much tighter this one. And also quite muddy and wet. Oh, that is slippy. Holy moly, that's slick. Ooh. This will test this, definitely. Wow, it's slippy. Whoa. Ooh, ooh. Three down. Oh, that hit me on the edge. All right then. A nice steep, steep section here. Oh my days, that's slippy. Ooh, ooh. Slippy and really steep. And really tight. Probably the thing this bike is not designed for, but that was a lot better than I thought it might be down there. And it's a massive muddy puddle. Ooh, again, not in its prime, but handled that admirably there we go up a nice steep one again here she is then so 2022 giant rain absolute weapon of a bike it's a big twin on the wheel up front so the same before brand new model you can see how much smaller that motor is at the bottom now chain rings now at the bottom and right before where the covers kind of at the bottom Nice full size bottle in this frame, obviously X2 on this bike. Lovely aluminium frame with the carbon top link there. They are just stunning. Uh, practice cranks, this one's full XT. So that mullet rear wheel. Nice high roller two, proper tyre with a double down tyre. You've got XT four part brakes with the big 203 rotors and proper, proper chunky rubber. So this is a large. You've got the flip just here. Trying that out of the way so you can just see there. You can flip the bolt around from the outside. You literally undo the bolt and it does just flick around. Now, what you can do with that is obviously just head angle, bottom bracket, seat angle. Now I'm running it in high. We are on the kind of chase as normal. So high mode, 64 and a half, about 78 seat angle. It is perfect. You don't need anything slacker than that. And to be fair, something a bit steeper would be a bit better on the tight stuff. Obviously motor on the bottom, battery's hidden lovely tucked away. And the big battery on the bottom. And the battery cover is separate so the cover can come off and the battery it's a very very cool design to the battery out very simple but very easy um, you can tighten the latch up 
so you can make it a bit loose, a bit tight if you need to, purely with a T25, no other tools required. Now, up the top, obviously ignore my garment, that's just on the bike, but there's your brand new Ride Control Go display. As you can see, Batch Life on the right hand side, and then your mode on the left hand mode two, five modes. There is also a Smart Assist mode, where Smart Assist, it gives back your inputs. So if you're going down a hill and you put loads of power in, it'll give you loads back. Vice versa, if you're going up a hill and you're just cruising up the hill, it'll give you very little back and just it'll, it'll suit your needs. Um, I found it to be a great mode for going downhill. It just feels really sort of normal. Uh, it feels like a normal bike. Gives power where you want it, but doesn't spike where you don't want it. Obviously, new switch on the left-hand side just here. This is brilliant. Um, compared to the old unit, it is next level. Much smoother, much easier, and you can also get the integration of your brakes, your dropper, and the switch. Much, much better, which I really like. Obviously, drop posts in this model, all models come with a dropper. Dropper height depends on frame size. This is a large, comes with a 150 dropper as standard. I'll be honest, I am gonna put a 2 mil dropper on it. I've got quite long legs. And for me, the 2 mil dropper will just open up this bike even further. I think it'll sort of make the bike, and I can attack steeper stuff even more and things like that. So. That's quite nice. Um, as you can see, frame, full aluminium frame. Really, really well done. Lovely kind of cut out bit here. So strength where you want it. And uh, obviously a um, bit of sniffless there too. And brand new cable routing. So cables now don't rattle, don't do anything. It just works really, really well. Obviously I've got a big mud guard on this. Kind of needed for this time of year. But overall, really, really happy with the package. Uh, this bike in particular is £6,299. Um, stock's actually available, you know, two or three weeks time at the minute at the point of viewing, at the point of uh, recording, sorry. Um, and at the minute, with the way the bike industry is, that's a win in itself. So, demo's available. So this is a large. This is my bike, but um, if you ask nice, I might let you ride it. And we have also got a medium demo for the shop. Um, that's already been really, really well kind of sought after. I think there's five or six people who are keen to ride that, so been in high demand we'll have stock bikes landing next two or three weeks and there should be free stock available physically in the shop for you to look at sit on um all that sort of stuff and uh, yeah so keep an eye out for the further reviews should be a month one probably do like a six month one as well um people know i'm like with bikes but i plan on keeping this a bit of a bit of a while um let's go and do some more riding down again down this one i think <laughs> that's a proper kicky jump that one's slightly better. That one's pretty good. Nice big firm. Oh! Nice one, that one. Oh wow, that's got muddy at the bottom now. Wow, that's sketchy at the bottom now. It used to be alright. How is it uphills then? Well, here we go. So I'm in smart assist. I'm putting about 300 watts out. Oh no, I don't know, 200-ish. It is punchy. Let's put it into top mode. Woo. Wow. Still getting a workout too. Feels comfy for an all day ride after a bit. Boy, that feels powerful. Right cadence, that's insane. Oh man, this has become very tight. This never used to be this tight. Nice burst of power at the corners. All right, then this is... It starts to go down again. Now this one's proper tight. And techie, pretty fast, but requires good placement. There we go, that's good. Oh, oh, you spot a straight line there. Oh, oh my god, it's getting well out of shape. Whoa, <sighs> to be fair. 
absolutely ploughing and it's proper muddy down here now oh bloody hell what fun that was that was insane oh yeah and into another now last winter this was proper sloppy oh my god this is no different oh it's sketchy oh my good god oh, oh my god I'm going to slow down a bit because I'm going to crash down that I'm not talking much, I'm just really concentrating. Ah, ah. This is so slimy, it's insane. This is so slippy. And the weight of the bike, you get somewhere and the bike just wants to keep going. Right then. Oh, someone's got a straight line here. Oh. Oh, oh. Ah. oh my god <laughs> how exhilarating <laughs> oh, those brakes sound good wow this is a lot wetter than I thought it might have been should get easier now should get better oh big puddle oh my god this is wetter than I thought it would have been This front tyre, it's hard to keep in a straight line, that's for certain. Sorry, I'm not talking, just concentrating. Oh, we're at the bottom now. Oh. Oh, Final verdict then. Well, second ride in today. What we've done. Been out an hour and 28, 1600 foot of climbing, 10 miles. I did 17 miles yesterday, so roughly 30 miles. So far, so good. Um, nothing's broken. Bike ride's amazing. Battery definitely getting better. We do say that you give it five or six full charges and it will get better. Um, the battery learns how one how well, how you charge it but also um how you use it um and it will get better and better till about the sixth seventh charge and then it will slowly of course like a battery will so degrade but two-year warranty battery and motor lifetime on the frame as per giant's legendary warranty she's fully covered same with the forks and shock two years fork and shock and most got really impressed with the bike it's handled everything I've thrown at it. It's definitely, definitely fast. And you notice it like it just wants to carry speed everywhere. Um, pretty good in the tight stuff too. Even though it's, as you can tell, a huge enduro bike. I'll be honest, for most riding, the Trant X. Um, currently only carbon available. So, but same battery, same motor as this. But in a slightly lighter weight, shorter travel package. It's a 150, 140 setup. Um, but other than that, really, really impressed. Finally, before I forget, let us know what you want to see. We're really trying to give this kind of YouTube stuff a bit of a push. We've got loads of bikes to use, try. Obviously, I swap bikes like it's going out of fashion normally, but I've kept the ones I've got so far. But anything like races, tricks, um, I'm rubbish, but Nick's pretty, pretty good at trial riding. Um, anything, let us know what you want to see. Let us know what you liked about this, um, what you dislike, what you think should change, anything. Stick it in the comments or give us a shout direct. Uh, and if you would, like it, subscribe, and we'll see you again next time. Cheers.